Hello and welcome. Today I would like to share some clips of the Henry taking on a bunch of battleships. So here I am in my Henry and a smokescreen that's dissipating and there are two North Carolinas plus a cruiser coming in towards me. So I decide to use speed boost, fire my torpedoes and start opening fire. I fire HE because um, the battleships are obviously angled towards me and now I'm going to turn the other way to try to launch my torpedoes on the other side of my ship as well. I have switched AP because I expected them to show broadside which they have and I fired a salvo. Unfortunately I did not get the single citadel. I suppose it has to do with the North Carolina's uh, low citadel. Let's try again. Nope, still no citadels, but the torpedoes on this side should be able to finish her off. Then my target for the guns will be the Mogami. Unfortunately, one of my guns was broken, so I used damage control party because I need to be able to deal as much damage as possible. So now Mogami is the next target because she's showing a broadside and she is fairly low health, so one should, should be able to do it, and there it is. So now it's just one North Carolina left. Okay, she is showing a broadside too, which is nice, let's try. And this time I did get two citadel heads. Now my torpedoes are reloading on one side, but I'm not quite certain which side at this moment. And so I decide to go to, to the uh, right of the North Carolina. Unfortunately, I do find out in a moment that my torpedoes were reloaded on the other side of my ship, which means that I kinda missed my opportunity. Now I fired that salvo and now I'm gonna do a follow up with my rear guns, however it won't let me fire for some reason, but now it did and I got a nice 3 citadel heads. Ship is almost gone but not quite yet, unfortunately I don't have much health either so I decide to fire all of my shots into the superstructure and start turning away, so in case that she fires I don't go down. But at the same time, the North Carolina starts healing, and this unfortunately means that one, sh one sh uh, shot from this rear gun probably won't be enough. And there you see it, it's quite not enough. Would have needed to use all of my front guns too, but because of the turret traverse I don't want to risk it anymore, so I just try to put as much distance as I can between us and then try to finish her. Because, you know, she is stuck on an island, so she can't exactly go anywhere. And there's the kill. Went rather well, didn't it? In this clip, I am approaching an Iowa after we had just sunk a cruiser over there. And um, unfortunately, a DD next to me also went down. The first salvo, she was too angled, so all of my shells bounced. I fire my torpedoes. By the way, this is before the uh, citadel lowering of the Montana and Iowa, so... These do give me a nice six citadel hits. And the two torpedoes also did a massive amount of damage. And I also just took a huge amount of damage, but I think it was somebody else that fired that salvo. And well, there's the finish of the Iowa. So here, a Yamato comes around the island and I have been waiting for her. You know, the hunter becomes the hunted this time. And well, two citadels on the Yamato, because obviously she is showing a broadside. Then again, that hurt a lot, the salvo that she fired on me. Fire another one, but this one was too far at the front, so I got three over penetrations, so... Well, this time was the same. Unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, they fell into the water anyway, so it didn't make much of a difference. And um, yeah, I will try to fire under front guns because they seem to... Oh my god, the Yamato just hit my belt armor, so they bounced. I hit all my three torpedoes, one salvo from my rear guns, three citadels, however the torpedoes managed to get the kill anyway. And now I'm going to hunt the Yamato down, because she is pretty much sailing away from me right now, right? So I open fire, uh, I come around an island, I don't, ex I don't think the Yamato expected me there. And now she's turning in and turning her guns towards me as well, which is... A bit dangerous for me, but I'll hope for the best. Got a nice citadel, but due to the fact that the Yamata turned in, my torpedoes are going to miss. And that salvo looks pretty... Ouch! Ouch! That was most of my HP gone. I immediately heal, of course. 
but she is still showing a broadside so I'm going to keep getting citadels most likely and we'll torpedo her as well. Now the important part is to try to finish her- wow those shells all fell into the water, interesting. Now the important part is to try to finish her off before she gets to fire at me again, but maybe that's not much of a risk since her turret traverse is pretty poor so that is kind of unlikely to happen since I was so close. Okay, this time a Yamato, North Carolina and Kurfürst are coming, all close of them, and I've been sitting in the smoke firing at that Kurfürst for a while, but now, since they are so close and the smoke is going to disappear, I go full speed with speed boost. Well, not quite yet full speed. I will in a moment. Okay, fired my guns, got a nice 5 citadels, plus 2 more, so that's 7 citadels in one salvo. And I fire my torpedoes on the Yamato and now I consider her pretty much gone, at least that's what I think. Unfortunately, it turns out that my um, torpedoes were quite not enough, which is sad, so I will have to try to do something about her, but priority right now is still the North Carolina, mostly because my guns are aimed at her. Now, I, I guess I am going to try to turn into her so that I can fire torpedoes on the other side. And the other thing is that this will bring my guns on point to the Yamato so I can try to finish her off. Oh, I actually even got the fire with my secondaries. Amazing. Oh, no citadels there. Well, I guess I kind of screwed that one up. And the torpedoes finished off the North Carolina. And let's take a shot on the Yamato. Oh, somebody else finished off. Just finished her off just as I fired. And now there's only the Kurfürst left who curiously has started running away from me. I guess he saw what happened to um, his teammates and was like, nah, I'm not interested. So now, because the Kurfürst is going away um, in a straight line, I'm gonna... I wanted to fire the superstructure, but here I decided that, hey, I'll take a shot at her aft, but you know, the predictable thing happens, which is all four of the shells bounce, so the next salvo is in the superstructure. Damage isn't ideal, but you know, it still does quite a bit of damage, and well, there goes the Kurfürst as well. Here I've been fighting a Yamato, but it hasn't been going so well, however I have some help with some friendly torpedoes coming in for the Yamato. Now I'm gonna get my shots off, but I'm not gonna be the one to deal with it. The clip here is um, about another ship that you will see in a moment, and that is a nice broadside on Moskva. I know it's not quite the battleship, but almost, and I know that she's not actually shooting back at me. But it's incredibly satisfying to find a Moskva and hit her for 27,000 damage in another cruiser. And then follow up with some more citadels for a kill. It just feels good. And this clip you probably have already seen, where I fight two Yamatos, at least I have posted it before. The two Yamatos are showing broadside, and I had decided that I will try to go and rush these two. Now, the dangerous part here is that I'm being shot at from from the front by the Yamatos. Well, they should shoot me. A Neptune on the side and the DD on the other side. However, I should be quite alright if I angle towards the Neptune nicely. Now, the Neptune is scary because Neptunes can deal a huge amount of damage if you show them broadside. Luckily, the Neptune isn't as interested, and my, the main threat is still the two Yamatos in front of me. But the first one should go down very soon, although that salvo hurt a huge amount. But, you know. Getting your ship sunk hurts even more. So the next one is this Yamato. And you'll notice in a moment that I actually, like this salvo was all synchronized, but I make a pretty big mistake here. Now that hurt. I'm gonna start turning away from the Yamato and this makes my front guns, uh, only one of the front guns fired, the second one didn't. It got unsynchronized. So now I bring my rear gun and now I fire my front gun again and now I wait a bit to fire my second you know, second front gun, and the mistake here was that um, due to the fact that my turrets got out of sync, I didn't have enough time to switch to the torpedoes to try to fire them. Now, in retrospect, I should have, but you know, it still happened this way, 
And I think if they hadn't got out of sync, I would have been able to fire my torpedoes. They would have hit the Yamato and I probably would have been able to sink her. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, Yorazar. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.